Italian destroyers in the tech tree, early access to new French cruisers, and the arms race and random and co-op battles. Update 0.11.4 brings all of that and much more. Watch our review to get all the details. Update 0.11.4 is bringing new French cruisers to early access. I have a question for you. Will these ships become popular in our game? Write your answers in the comments under this video. And for now, let's take a closer look at the newcomers. Welcome heavy cruisers of Tier 8, 9, and 10, respectively, Cherbourg, Brest, and Marseille. Their main feature is their powerful large-caliber guns. From their appearance, these newcomers can easily be mistaken for battleships, such as Dunkirk, Strasbourg, or Richelieu, mainly because the new cruiser's main turrets are placed at the bow end only. Their guns don't have the highest rate of fire, which can be offset by the main battery reload booster consumable. Cherbourg, Brest, and Marseille also have well-protected citadels, but their armor is vulnerable to semi-armor piercing and high-explosive shells. The trademark French engine boost consumable will come in handy when you need to escape from enemy fire or, on the contrary, get close to your opponent fast. But that's not all. The arsenal of the new French ships also includes a highly accurate secondary battery that helps them show their worth in close quarters engagements. To celebrate the release of the new French cruisers, we've decorated Port Marseille and prepared themed combat missions as well as a special tab in the armory. A few more details. Completing these combat missions will bring you a temporary resource, French tokens. After completing all the missions, you'll receive Tier 8 Cruiser Cherbourg. The tokens can be spent on themed sequentially available bundles that hold valuable rewards. I'm happy to announce that Italian destroyers have arrived to the tech tree. From now on, anyone can stand at the helm of these beautiful ships from the shores of the Apennine Peninsula. Oh, right, make sure to watch the video on how to master playing these not-so-simple ships. The video is already available on our channel. Nine ships are ready to head into battle under your command. The main features of the new branch are semi-armor-piercing shells, torpedoes with a comfortable reload time, exhaust smoke generator, and emergency engine power. With these armaments, you can combine a torpedo playstyle and a tactic for rushing into fights with single targets. Italian destroyers won't leave you indifferent, that's for sure. To other news, the construction of Battleship Atlantico continues at the Clyde Bank Dockyard in Update 0.11.4. Within the first three weeks of the update's release, you'll be able to keep completing combat missions of the Dockyard, where Atlantico, the first Pan-American battleship in the game, was laid down. The ship is armed with a powerful secondary battery and 10 main guns that fire only armor-piercing shells. Completing dockyard combat missions is worth it because that way you can complete shipbuilding phases. Each shipbuilding phase will bring you great rewards. Completing all combat missions will allow you to close 19 phases out of the 22 available. And to get Atlantico, you need to complete any three phases using doubloons. Although, if you complete all phases in exchange for doubloons, then completing dockyard combat missions will bring you steel. Some changes to random and co-op battles are expected to arrive in Update 0.11.4. The arms race will join standard battle and domination, which are already common modes in our game. The main feature of the arms race is the special map areas that enhance the characteristics of your ship. You'll encounter this mode in high-tier battles. In addition, starting with this update, the epicenter mode will be excluded from random and co-op battles. We have great news for the fans of competitive modes. The seventh season of Ranked Battles and the 17th Clan season called Cayman are about to start in Update 0.11.4. The seventh Ranked Battles season will be held in a 6 versus 6 format, playing Tier 8 and 9 ships. Depending on the league, the rules for saving stars at the end of a battle will change. In the Bronze League, the two top XP earners on the losing team will keep their stars. In the Silver League, only the top XP earner on the losing team will keep their star. A defeat in the Gold League means that nobody on the losing team will preserve their stars. Such changes should add diversity to the game and highlight a competitive aspect of each league. 
the clan battle season called Cayman will also get its share of features. The season will be held in a 7 vs 7 format playing tier 10 ships and super ships. The battles will be played in the domination mode on 6 maps. In addition, the season is expected to have a set of rules related to team composition. Make sure to find all the details in a special article about the Cayman season. To conclude the episode, let's get to the Armory news. We've changed rewards under the Naval Community tab. Premium ship containers have replaced Leningrad, Exeter, and Ishizushi, new German Tier 10 battleship Mecklenburg, in exchange for steel, another Azure Lane collaboration, and an event dedicated to Destroyer Black are also coming to the Armory. You can find more detailed information about other new features and upgrades in Update 0.11.4 in a special article on our website. See you soon, Captains.